This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Worry, you need a revelation of the goodness of God. Today we're looking at dominion over fear and worry. And that's what we're looking at in this Sunday service. Dominion over fear and worry. And most times people begin to worry about things that they already have in Christ Jesus. And worry can obstruct God's vision, can obstruct the vision of God in the lives of people. When a person chooses a path of worry, is because they lack the revelation of the ability of God. God has not called us into a life of worry and anxiety. He has called us into a lifestyle of dominion and victory. To overcome the spirit of fear and worry, the first thing we need to establish is to recognize the ability of Jesus at work in us. We need to recognize the ability of Jesus that is at work in us. We need to recognize that the ability of God is in me. And because the ability of God is in me, I am more than a conqueror. Because the ability of God is in me, nothing can be impossible to me. Because the ability of God is in me, I don't have the fear of death. I don't have the fear of the future. I don't have the fear of, will I be able to get to my destination? Or will my life be able to turn out right? When you feed on the revelation of the goodness of, of God, you can destroy the root of fear. So here in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, 2 Timothy 1, verse 7, for God had not given us the spirit of fear. He said, God has not given us. And, and whatever God has not given us, we cannot take. Whatever God has not given us, we cannot respond to. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear, whatever that tries to lead to fear, we need to resist it. I'm not going to buy into this fear. The fear of the future, the fear of, will I be able to complete this process? Will I be able to go through this? You know, the enemy works in the arena of fear and worry. A lot of people can begin to worry about things that God said, I want you to trust me in this area. And they begin to worry about it. They begin to worry about it. What about this? What about that? What about the future of my children? What about my life? Worry is an indication that an individual is losing their focus in God. Worry is an indication that someone is losing their focus in God. They are not focusing on God. They are focusing on themselves. And when someone begins to focus on themselves, one of the key things that begin to happen around them is that they begin to worry. And worry is an indication that I am not trusting God. I am not depending on God. I am not trusting on his will. War is an indication that my faith has moved out of God, is not being focused on the wrong direction. War is an indication that I'm not looking up to God. I am looking up to myself. And right now I'm seeing my inabilities. I'm seeing my limitations. I'm seeing my struggle. And this is what is producing war in me. Worry is an indication that a person has started losing their confidence in God. 
They are no more putting their trust in God. Now they are putting their trust in what they can do. And when they begin to see the deficiency of what they don't have, they start seeing their, their inabilities, their struggle, and then it opens the door for more frustration. And let me say this to you, worry will limit you from reaching your full potential. Worry will limit you from reaching your full potential. Being who you're supposed to be, doing what God wants you to do, worry can stop you from magnifying the purpose of God in your life. Call us a life of fear. And this is why see of God in you, that is number one. And number two, you need to have the revelation of the goodness of God. When you have this revelation that God is a good God, no matter what I'm going through, I'm going to project his goodness. When you have this revelation that God is a good God, no matter what you're dealing with, you will rise above it. God is a good God. And because he's a good God, nothing can be impossible to me. God has not given me the spirit of fear. I refuse to fear. When you hear the voice of fear coming to you, declare, I refuse to fear. I refuse to be afraid of being broke. I refuse to be afraid of death. I refuse to be afraid of what is going to happen to my marriage. What is going to happen to my son's life? You know, the Bible talks about casting your cares on the Lord. And that's one of the key things we need to understand, that casting our cares on Jesus is strategic in living a life of dominion. Casting your cares on Jesus. Why should I cast my cares on Jesus? This is the pathway to a life of victory, casting your cares upon God. That no matter what you're going through, God, I trust you. No matter what is happening in my finances, God, I trust you. I will put your word first. I'm going to put the word of God first. I'm not going to stop tithing because I have debts to pay. I'm not going to stop giving because I have so many financial trouble or so many financial challenges. I'm not going to stop giving my tithe and offering because I'm, I, I have a bill to pay. Oh God, for now I can't pay my tithe. For now I can't give my offering because I have so many bills to pay. Let me say this to you. Putting God first will exonerate you from a life of fear and worry. Putting God first. Get to a point in your life that God is the number one person. Get to a point in your life that the word of God is the number one thing in your life. Get to a point that the word of God is the number one thing in your life that you look at yourself, you look at yourself and say, well, I trust God. I refuse to worry. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse any situation to extract me. I trust God. I am more than a conqueror. The word of God will work for me. The word of God will come to pass in my life. I'm going to put God's word first in respect of what the situation may be in the natural. I will exalt the word of God above my need. I will exalt the word of God above my circumstances. I'm going to exalt the word of God above my financial crisis. Can I say this to you? Those who magnify the word and do the application of God's word will change their situation. Those who magnify the word of God and do the application of God's word will transform their situation. When you magnify the word, that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what is going on in your finances, God, I trust you. I refuse to worry about my future. I refuse to worry about my destiny. The outcome of my life is in Jesus. The outcome of my life is in Jesus. So I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to be frustrated. I refuse to give in to the pressure of the enemy. God has given you victory over death, over fear, over worry. And this is why you need to begin to feed on the word of God. To know that God is on your side. It doesn't matter the financial situation, trusting God works. So when works, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of difficult situation, take an offering to Jesus. And say, God, I thank you for being faithful. I thank you because my seed will produce harvest. I thank you because you are a miracle-working God. The 
things you said you would do. I thank you because you're doing them. I trust your word. And let me say this. You look at this scripture here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at this scripture in First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it said, it said, casting all your cares. It said, casting all, 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 all your cares, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. He said, put all your cares on Jesus, that he cares for you. You can't be depressed when you have a word like this. You come to the press when you have, he said, cast all your cares on the Lord. It doesn't matter what the situation is, put your cares on Jesus. It doesn't matter what the circumstances may be right now. Those who trust God will not be moved by situation. Those who trust God, anxiety can conquer their destiny. Those who trust God, opposition cannot frustrate their purpose. Those who trust God cannot run out, run out of God's resources and the opportunities that God had for them. Why? Because they trust God. Amazing things happen when we trust God. Big things happen when we trust God. Great things happen when we trust God. And there is someone here, the Spirit of God, who have me say this to you. If you trust me, you will win. If you trust me, you will win. Your winning begins with trusting God. Your winning, don't trust in what you can do. Don't trust in who you know. Trust in the Lord. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge Him. That's powerful. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart, with all your heart, that is what to do right now. And you're looking at yourself and you're looking at your life and you're asking yourself this question. Where am I going to get the fund for this business? Where am I going to get the fund for this surgery? Where am I going to get the fund for this housing, for this car, for this child education, for this trust in the Lord? It's a casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. Get to a position where God is your focus and never lose sight of his word. Get to that point. Instead of pressuring yourself, go look for someone you could meet their need. One of the ways you solve your problem is to look for someone who may have the also a problem. How can I help you? How can I partner with you? How can I support you? You have a very big project before you, but you don't have the money. But there is someone that you could have with what you have as a seed, and then it could lead to a harvest of what you're trying to do. Sometimes it's known to us that being a blessing is one of the keys to solving our problems. One of the ways you solve your problem is to go look for somebody and be a blessing to them. Go look for someone and take care of them. And when you do that, God could open a door where you could receive inquiries that can change your situation. And the Spirit of God is saying to us right now, there is victory over fear. You have been afraid. I don't know who you are. You have been battling with fear. This fear will just grip you. And God is telling me to say this to you. Don't open door to that spirit of fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your future. Don't be afraid of your destiny. Don't be afraid of what your life is going to be and what your testimony is going to be and what your dreams are going to be. Don't be afraid of the future. I am holding your hands. I am holding your destiny. I am going to help you. I'm going to help you. That is what I'm hearing God saying today. I am going to help you. You don't know what to do, but God knows what to do. You don't know what to do. He knows what to do. He said, how am I going to come out from this situation, apostle? Who is going to help me out of this situation? And what I'm dealing with right now, who is going to help me? I hear this in the spirit. Help us are coming. Yeah, helpers are coming. People who are going to help you to carry that vision, to carry that assignment, to carry on with that vision. 
people that are going to help you, they are coming. And somebody, get ready for your helpers. Get ready for your helpers. Get ready for your helpers. I pray for you today that you will receive supernatural help for your vision. You will receive supernatural help for what the things that God has called you to do, the things God has ordained you to do. Receive supernatural help. Receive help in the name of Jesus. When you don't know what to do, receive help. Receive help for your dream. Receive help for your vision. Receive help for the things that God has called you to do. When you feel frustrated, when you feel like you're about to give up, when nobody's there to support you, help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming to buy that house. Help is coming to pay off that car notes. Help is coming. I like us to read this scripture. Labo Shantarababa. Libro Shakarababa. Libro Shakarababa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 17. Exodus chapter 2, verse 17. He said, And the shepherd came and drove him away. And the shepherd came and drove them away. Sorry. And the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and help them is your way. God is sending a helper your way that will stand up for you, that will stand up for your vision, that will stand up for your assignment. When you don't know what to do, when you don't know where to go, there is a helper. There is a bombing. There is a helper. They make room for the spirit of fear. Never make room for anxiety, for depression. Never make room. Whenever you think of being depressed, start praising God. Praise is your way out. I said praise is your way out. One of the ways your praise become effective and productive is when you acknowledge and recognize the goodness of God. When you acknowledge and recognize the goodness of God. When you acknowledge and recognize the goodness of God, I say, God, you are my source. God, you are my helper. I look unto the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. Don't talk fear. Don't talk fear. Don't say, where are we going to get the money from? Don't say, who is going to help us? Don't say, we're going broke. Don't say life is tough for us. Don't say it's not going to be easy for us. Don't say, oh, when will this faith check even improve? Watch your confection whenever you're dealing with situation. Watch your confection. Make sure your confection is projecting the goodness of God. And don't let situation distract you from your destiny. Let your confection be in line with God's word. Let your confession be in line with the word of God. God is my source. Hallelujah. Yeah. He will make a way for me. God will provide for me. And you're declaring that. I don't have the spirit of fear. The spirit of courage is upon me. The spirit of wisdom is upon me. Understanding is upon me. No fear here. In the name of Jesus. No fear in this house. No fear here. And the enemy is telling you, you won't be able to pay off your mortgage. The enemy is telling you, you will never come out from death. No, you declare in the name of Jesus, I am death free. In the name of Jesus, I am death free. You're quick to declare your victory. Don't allow the voice of the enemy to be greater than the expression of your faith. Don't allow the voice of the enemy to be greater than the expression of your faith. The expression of your faith is your way out in the midst of this storm and adversity. And you begin to say, God, I thank you. Lord, I want to say thank you. Lord, I want to give you praise for the things you said concerning me. Let the knowledge of the goodness of God beside your thinking. Don't have scarcity mentality. Don't have poverty mindset. Don't say the money is not here. Don't say, oh, where are we going to get the money from? Stop for me. Don't say it's difficult to get help. Don't say, oh, when am I going to ever get help in life? Watch your confection. Watch your declaration. Be committed to declaring the word of God. Every morning you wake up and say, I'm shining today in the name of Jesus. I rise in the name of Jesus. Jesus is my provider. 
Jesus is my source. Psalm 23, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want for favor. I shall not want for opportunity. I shall not want for preferential treatment. I, I shall not want for supernatural possibility. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You begin to make your declaration. Never make room for fear and worry. Don't sit down to worry about what you don't have. Those who worry about what they don't have won't attract more. But those who praise God for what they have, more will come to them. Those who sit down to worry about what they don't have, those who worry about their insufficiency will never have sufficiency. Those Those who worry about, oh, look at my life. Oh, look at what is going on in my life. But the truth be told, if you're grateful, you know what I'm I will focus on the goodness of God. I'm not, then I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on what of Jesus. When the victory of Jesus is your focus, nothing can be impossible to you. And there is someone watching this broadcast. The Holy Ghost will have me say this to you. Rest in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. In all your ways. In all your ways. Acknowledge him. The scripture said, by strength shall no man prevail. You know, sometimes people could do something to hurt you or to get at you, but you know you learn how to trust God. God is my source. God is my helper. I look unto the hill from whence come at my head, for my head come from God. You know, that's one of the key things that have kept me going. I keep trusting him. How are you going to do this? Apostle God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. How are you going to do this? My God will supply all our needs. The more you focus on him, you will have inspiration for continuity. How are you going to do this? My God will supply all my needs. Worry is not necessary. Fear is not necessary. Casting all your cares upon the Lord. Learn to celebrate the little victories you have and more victories will come. Learn to celebrate what God has given to you and there'll be multiplication. There'll be more. If you want multiplication, begin to thank God for what you have. Thank God for your children. Thank God for your business. Thank God for your husband. Thank God for what you have. Don't be complaining for what you have. Be thanking God for what you have. That's how multiplication will come. A lot of people will complain. They will nag. They will worry. But you begin to thank God. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. You are a miracle working father. You are a miracle working father. I trust you. I trust you. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, who is going to bring the money? Oh, who is going to support you? Oh, who is going to encourage you? Oh, who is going to be there for you? No, Jesus is here for me. Jesus is here for me. I choose to believe God and I refuse to worry. Cast your cares on the Lord. Learn to take a break. Learn to sit down and just reflect on the goodness of God. Check the areas where God has given you victory. You begin to thank him. Out of those that proceed thanksgiving, he will multiply. You begin to thank him. You begin to give him praise. You begin to magnify the goodness of God. You begin to thank God. And that is what to do. I choose to praise God. I refuse to worry. I refuse to worry. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to nag. I refuse to begin to cry and Worry about my life. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8. Hebrews 13, verse 8. If he delivered you yesterday, he will deliver you today. If he protects, he will provide for you today. If you learn to simply trust in God, you will have your victory. Let's begin to thank God. Oh, Father, we thank you for this service. We have victory over worry. 
who have victory over anxiety, who have victory over depression. In the name of Jesus, we'll cast our cares on the Lord. We'll trust you with our future. We'll trust you with our destiny. We'll trust you with our gifting. We'll trust you with our lives. Heavenly Father, I receive inspiration. I receive revelation to act on your will. Thank you, Father, for being my source. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. If you're watching this broadcast and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like you to say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, it means you're born again and the Spirit of God will lead you from this day forward. I want to encourage you so stay connected to this ministry and your life will never remain the same. You can also stay connected by subscribing to our YouTube channel, it's Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. And also right now, we're going to give our offerings today, Sunday service, and we're on Zoom here today. Uh, we're about to give our offerings and our tithes. And let's pray. You know, the Bible said, propose in your heart. There is a need for you to be a, a joyful giver, a cheerful giver, a cheerful sower, you know, you heard the word of God it has ministered to you. You take an offering and give to the Lord. It is part of your worship experience. You know, it's part of your worship experience that you take an offering and give to the Lord. We're going to prove our offering before we take our announcement today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we'll bring our tithes and our offering before you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone. They'll be sowing, they'll be giving offering, they'll be tithing in one way or the other. I pray that the supernatural favor of God will be upon you, that you prosper, that you succeed, that you excel in the name of Jesus. Receive increase, receive multiplication, and receive overflow of the blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. You can do your giving by going to finishworktv.com and slash giving. Or you can go to PayPal, it's teaching at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Shaman, can you give us some of the announcements? Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I hope you're having a great uh, Sunday service. Uh, we've been having Faith yeah. International School <laughs> of the Prophets. Uh, it started on May the 5th, and it's going to go for 120 days masterclass on the prophetic ministry. Uh, it's every day at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it goes from May 5th until September 5th, 120 days. So join us every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Facebook, on all of our social media pages. If you haven't subscribed to any of our pages, there's Faith Man School of Prophets. There's also Finish Work International Ministries, uh, and there's a few other pages. Uh, we also list those on Apostle Faith Man's page and my, my page as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can go to Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. There's over 2,800 videos there of teaching that will help you to grow uh, with your walk in the Lord. And also, Apostle has two books, 40 Things You Need to Know About Your Future, and There's Greatness in You, and you can also get those on Amazon.com. So we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for School of the Prophets and Prophetic Ministry. Everyone have a great day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray that these...